Hi Earth Signs, Tarot Twins here. Welcome Taurus, Capricorn and Virgo. This is your reading, The One Who Broke Your Heart. And we will be looking into your energy and your person's energy um, to see what's coming up around this love situation and everything that you've been dealing with. I am, of course, joined by Blackfeather Tarot. Hi Earth Energies. And um, please feel free to check out her channel for more love content. Um, That's I right, will link pay me a visit. Yep, I will link her uh, channel link below in the description box. Also, we have a few slots available for tarot twin readings. So if you were after a private reading with the both of us, please feel free to email me with tarot twins as your subject line. Otherwise, we'll jump into the reading and see what comes up for you, your energy. All right, Earth signs. I'm going to get us started. Okay, we'll take a look at your energy, see how you're processing the hurt, the pain, the heartbreak. Okay, Ace of Cups, you've got Justice as well. Okay, Earth Energies, I still get a sense that you're kind of stuck on them. You're kind of stuck on their energy or you're having a hard time moving on from them or forgetting what it is that they said to you or what it is that they did, okay? Um, Ace of Cups here, some of you I feel like you're going through a lot right now emotionally. You're just trying to process all of your emotions internally. You're trying to sort of make sense of everything here. It's very overwhelming. Some of you could be crying a lot here. Um, some of you are just very emotionally sensitive right now. Your emotions here are very heightened here. Some of you, I feel like... And that's perfectly fine to be there. That's perfectly fine. It's all part of the... You know, you have to feel it to heal it. It's all part of the healing process. Um, if you suppress it, though, if these of Cups you know, came out in reverse, if you had suppressed any of that, that itself is... Is not fine because you need to let it out if you have to cry if you have to yell shout up you know shout on the top of rooftops do what it is you have to do to get rid of this hurt or this pain or just you know to get all of these emotions out of you okay open the floodgates if you have to um, so some of you I feel like you're not there yet you know and take as much time as you need because there is no time frame. There's no time frame for healing a heartbreak or for moving on from someone or something. Everything happens in your time and you in your timeline and you dictate when that's going to be right for you. I can see with the three of cups, maybe you're doing a lot of time still talking about this person, whether you realize it or not. Again, if that's part of the healing process, that's absolutely fine. Because um, I feel like you're talking to your family or friends or even colleagues about this person or um, this person could still be very much talking about you. It could also mean that some of you, I feel like you still share the same circle of friends. So you may even see this person from time to time. With judgment, I feel like there's been a lot of emotional awakening. I feel like a lot of emotions have risen to the surface. This has brought out, um, this connection and this heartbreak has brought out a lot in you, a lot of pain, a lot of hurt, a lot of insecurities. It's resurfaced a lot of past hurt or resentment here. Um, the temperance here is a reminder to take your time, okay? Um, as I've said, you know, there's no timeline for any of these things, so take as, you know, as long a time as you need. A lot of you as well, though, you've got the three of, um, the three of wands and he stands there on the precipice and he's looking towards the future. So some of you, I feel like, yeah, sometimes you do have to glance back every, you know, so often to see, um, you know, how far you've come in order to know where you're going. Um, the chariot here is, I feel like you're being pulled into different energies, like you still miss them or you still want them or you still hurt by all of it. But at the same time, a big part of you wants to move on, okay? You can't fight that energy. You'll know when you're ready to move on. There'll be a time when you'll, you know can mention this person's name or you can think about them without attaching such a raw emotion to that energy here. There'll be a time when you'll, um, you know, when you'll get to that stage. Nine of Pentacles um, sees that some of you are really trying to invest in yourself. Um, you're try some of you, I feel like you're ga gaining your independency back because maybe some of you lost your individuality in this connection. Um, judgment here, I feel like you're trying to, maybe you feel as though you didn't necessarily have your best judgment coming into this connection, or you felt like, oh, okay, I was a little bit foolish, or I should have known better. Um, and that's okay, okay, that's okay, because all of it is, it, it's a lesson, it's a blessing, and it's a lesson, and it's teaching you things, okay, it's teach, and it's, you know, this connection, this heartbreak has taught you things about yourself, and about others, and about heartbreak in general, and it's, it's there to strengthen you, but use this time to invest in yourself, use this time to, you know, feel it, to heal it, um, 
and take as long time as you need here with the heartbreak. Okay, um, all right, guys, and that is your energy. So we're going to shift over to your person's energy and see what's going on with them emotionally, internally. See how they're processing, you know, their side of the heartbreak. Okay, the devil, the wheel of fortune. This person may not be doing too well. They're going through some things. They're trying to transform themselves. Uh, but the devil card, it may be that they're turning to substances or excessive behavior. Um, maybe even going back to an addiction. They're, I feel like they are obsessing over the situation though because there's a lot they don't understand. The high priestess has come up. They're trying to understand what went wrong, what they could have done different, what you could have done different. Um, they could be in a bit of a what-if kind of energy. There may be some fantasy happening around this person in a way. Uh, mm -hmm. Let me check my cards here on camera. So the transformation is the wheel of fortune, okay? That are, they're at a very crucial time in their life right now, and I think you've had a lot to do with that, um, Earth Signs. Temperance card, they're trying to be patient with themselves. This is about facing the truth. Temperance is honesty, um, understanding, you know, being straightforward with something here. So they, they may have people around them that are being straightforward with them, like, okay, give up the girl, you lost her, or give up the guy, he's moved on. You know, whatever this is, a lot of people are hitting them with the truth, but in, for some reason, it's still no cl they're still no closer to understanding what went wrong and understanding um, how this all happened. They don't want to fight, though. Seven of Wands is, is, is reversed. This is the resistance. This is the, normally when it's upright, it's fighting something off. It's fending something off, you know, feeling like there's accusations. They either don't want to accuse. They don't want to abuse. They, they don't want this kind of energy anymore. So that maybe that's part of the good, the good that we're seeing, the good with the world card. Um, you know, the judgment. They also have judgment. Okay, so both of you have judgment. You're both judging the situation, trying to understand it. Mm. I think this also um, is validating that this is a karmic connection between the both of you. Mm -hmm. and that there's a lesson that needed to be learned on both sides, a lesson that is still being learned. Um, but I say there is some positives on this person's side and maybe that obsessive behavior will eventually um, dissipate as, as they come into the world with the Wheel of Fortune. And they st when they transform and when they change, they'll start to have a new perception and see things much more differently than they are right now. But this is going to take time, time in the form of temperance, okay? So um, this person needs time to realize so if you're wondering if they're being rude or they're going out a lot or they're smoking again and you, you've noticed this they're going to need time to undergo that transformation and you won't be able to force it upon them earth signs it's something that they need to do in their own time in mm -hmm. their own path um in their own state and and right now because they're coming up as the queen of cups they're not feeling they're not feeling compassion Okay, or well, they're not showing compassion, they're not showing care. Normally when she's upright, she's a very devoted figure, uh, representing tenderness and love and all those wonderful things that come with divine feminine energy. But seeing that reversed, of course, could very well indicate that no, they're not feeling this way. They're not feeling like they want to show you care or compassion. They're showing you that devil energy. So... There is obsessive thoughts going on around this person, and it's going to take them time to sort of filter things out and see things from a different perspective. Um, and I think they're undergoing this powerful transformation. And judgment, I think, has a lot to do with that. Um, and you had that reversal, that Seven of Wands reversal. They're not fighting it, okay? They're not fighting. It could be that they're not fighting for you, they're not fighting for the connection, or they're not fighting. You know, it's some of those inner demons that are coming up around mm -hmm. them, mm -hmm. um, like the addiction or anything else I sort of mentioned. So they could be going through a bit of a funk. Mm. It sounds like they're having a, um, a hard time emotionally also processing the pain mm. and the hurt. And it sounds like, as you've mentioned earlier, like this person isn't ready to maybe accept, you know, what's happened between mm -hmm. the two of you. They're, they're having a hard time accepting that it's the end here, right? Yes, I would agree. Judgment is a big indicator of something beginning or something ending around, mm -hmm. you know, the energy here. 
All right, guys, and that's pretty much your reading. We just want to thank you all for watching and for listening. Um, please show your support by either subscribing to either channels, by liking, commenting, or sharing. For those of you that are interested in a personal um, tarot reading with us, just a reminder to um, reach out with the subject line Tarot Twins. Um, otherwise, guys, thank you again for your time and attention. Greatly appreciated. We will, of course, be sharing with you more tarot love messages throughout the week, so do stay tuned. Thanks, guys, again, and thank bye you. for now. Take care.